Okay, hope this works, Diane. I'm going to do a little bit of a video evaluation here for you. You know, I just don't look at these feet and go, oh, wham, wham, that's the plan. You know, uh, because, because the foot is so deceptive. There's so many things that you have to look at, you know, and you have to understand, you know, I don't know the real history of this horse or who trimmed him or what they did or anything like that. So I have to take time to meditate on these feet and think about things and so I'm going to do a, a hoof evaluation from what I see what I know how people treat these feet and what they've done to trim them because it's all about you know if the heels have been trimmed out there's different things that can happen if the heels have been trimmed out they can set these horses into a state of mechanical laminitis okay or if the heels have grown uh, long and collapsed kind of forward and pushed forward that can cause laminitis too because what happens is you know you have a heel just a minute here um, we will select an area okay so you have a heel rest a second here Kind of a new little program here. Okay, you have a heel that should be coming down like this. Okay, well, that's not very good. But anyway, here's your coronary band up here, and it your heel buttress should be the horn tubule should be like this. See? Of course, we know there's plenty more. So you can see the horn tubules. On this foot here. All right, so let's uh, back up there. So that is not how this is growing. Let's let's do that again. Okay. Okay. This would be like this. Something like that. Okay. So so then your coronary band is up here. Should go straight back. Here, okay, your heel buttress would be right here, okay, and then the like this, but this is not what's going on all the way up to your toe here. It's not very good, not very good foot, but you get the general idea that all this is supposed to be lined up with the internal lamina. So when the hoof capsule does not line up with the internal lamina, you have them working at odds against each other. One is pulling one way and the other is pulling the other. And that's always what is going on with these feet. Okay, so this is not what's going on here. Oh, okay. This is not what's going on here. What's going on here, first of all, look at, look at the white hoof well here. This shows me that people have been rasping this down right here. That this has been rasped down. That dressed down. They dressed down the wall when the horn tubule tub oh, wait a minute. When the horn tubules and the wall is stretched forward. So you know. Oops. That was that other deal I was trying. Okay, so we don't really know how long the toe truly is because the toe has been roused back right here. Okay, now another thing. Your heel should be growing down like this. Okay, instead it's growing like, like this. Oh, goodbye. Like this. And look here, see this crack? That's a quarter crack. Quarter cracks are caused from the horn tubules up here growing the wrong way and pushing forward to where they push into the wall here and it cracks. Okay, so let's follow this horn tubule down. Now it's rasped off, but it probably goes like that. See there? Not supposed to be like that. So as long as you have hoof wall back here that is growing down like this and up here, it's destabilizing this whole wall 
and this wall cannot grow correctly. It's pushing the wall up. Okay, now the foot, let's look at where the foot is. Okay, always look at the coronary band. And what I see here is not good. I see that when it should be a smooth transition, like so. Okay, see, when you see a bulge like this, you know there's a problem. see if I can find some pictures, but see right here, I, I would like you to, you know, a lot of times what I do is I'll shave their hair right here so I can see exactly what's going on with this coronary band here. Because it's supposed to be, let me find a picture, maybe I have one down here. Okay, let me find a picture. Okay, look here at the coronary band. Just a minute. See how that is smooth like that? Here's here's your coronary band in here. Okay, here's your hairline. See how there's a smooth transition there? Okay, when you have a bulge like like that, okay, like over here. Just a second here. I would like that to stay there, but you see this bulge, not good, okay? Um, if the rotation has reached clear up into the coronary band, you're going to have real problems because then the wall won't be able to grow down straight on the foot. Like this wall here is looking like it, it wants to grow down, let's see, like this, okay? And then your your inner foot's wanting to grow straight down like this. Something like that. Okay. So, you know, there's just a lot going on in this foot that has destabilized the hoof wall and the lamina uh, on the hoof capsule from the internal lamina. So... You know, before I went whacking off the pillars here, I'd be looking at how this heel growth is affecting and pushing all this forward. See? Um, see, if, if the foot, this would be the, the eh, let's get another color. Okay. So, you know, the wall grows down, joins up with the sole, and then they grow together here, see? And so the heel should be upwards and like this. Like that. But what kind of a heel do you have here? You have, oh, let's use green. How pretty. Okay, you have a heel. Let's see. You know, you can't even really see the horn tubules, but they go more like this. See, and I don't know how, because this is, I don't know how this one goes. You know, they're going something more like this. See, that'll never work. I, I would think I would, and I'm not telling you to do this, okay? Um... Because the horse is going to need support. But before I would totally trim these off, I mean, it might take some leverage off up here for sure. Okay. Um, that would be good too. But um, this right here as well is going to be a problem with all this. See, in order to get these here, okay, growing down straight. See how they, the everything here is just pushing everything forward? Okay, well, I hope that helped. You know, first we have to understand what's going on with the foot before we can devise a plan to try and stabilize the foot and get everything to growing right. Okay, see, you just can't have... Uh, 
And look, and you can see where it's pushing up right in here too. See the hairline? You know? See, you just can't have this number going on. You will never be able to correct anything in front of this when you got a piece that grows here, clear up to here, when it should be right about there. See the difference in length? And see how it grows forward up here and it's pushing all these forward? Okay, that's all I can do for now.